Oh my god, guys, you're gonna watch this video and all of you are gonna be super mean in the comments. I told you, we're experimenting. <laughs> Chicken nuggets, please. What's the secret ingredient? Nope, doesn't want to tell me. Hey guys, this is Erwin Yusuf. So we're currently at McDonald's and today we're trying to recreate the chicken nugget. So I actually haven't been here in the longest time and I haven't had one of these in maybe close to a year and a half. But I do remember them being really delicious. You have two choices for chicken nuggets. You have the traditional chicken nugget sauce or the sweet and sour. So I got sweet and sour. So we'll actually try to make the sauce as well from scratch. So first, when you look at them outside, they're nice and crispy. The coating's kind of kind of hard. So we'll try to recreate that. So I think that's one of the points that we need to make sure to get. It's a lot of coating and it's very nice and tough and crunchy basically. Dunk. I think one of the things we need to try to remake is that springiness. So it looks like a whole piece of chicken, but it has a certain air and, and springiness to it. So maybe I can do that with some vital wheat gluten, or some spices, or maybe some flour, some cornstarch. The coating kind of comes off a little bit, so it's nice and crunchy. So three things we need to try to do. One, bang the sauce out of the part. Two, try to get that springiness of the chicken. And finally, the last thing, once we figured out the seasoning, figure out how we can make it this crunchy without getting it too oily. That being said, let's go back to the studio. All right, so we are back in the studio and we're gonna figure this out. So I was a huge fan of Mythbusters growing up um, and one of the main guy, the Asian guy, Grant Imahara, uh, basically did a, a video which, which was probably paid for by McDonald's um, talking about what really goes into McDonald's. Everyone has seen that pink slime picture um, and everyone was spreading it that that's basically what a chicken nugget is made of. So this video here um, that they made proves that it's really not that. So the first thing we see is that they actually use real chickens. <laughs> and it's mostly chicken breasts that they use and there's some skins in there, no like, no bones or anything unedible that people said that was in there. So chicken and chicken skin, and it's ground. They then mix it a lot of times, so I, think, I guess they really want to get it nice and mushy. And then finally, they talk about the marinade ingredients that they add to that kind of mush. So right here we have that ground chicken already, but see how it's just has been ground once, what we're gonna do is kind of mix it a couple of times to really get it in that same consistency. To that, they add water, sodium phosphate, food starch modified, so that's the marinade. So they'll mix that, we'll mix that with the ground chicken. Finally, it's blended and shaped, so it really doesn't look like that pink goo. And then, they dredge it once in a really light batter. So I'm guessing that's kind of like your first dredge and then they do a thicker dredge, which is the last dredge, and I'm gonna do milk and cornstarch for that one before frying it. So, let's get cooking. These are our ingredients. So first things first, our friends over at DeLonghi sent me a, a deep fryer, which is really awesome because I hate deep frying in pots because I, I feel like I'm gonna make something explode. Um, so get your oil to about 175 degrees Celsius. So that's on. Now we're gonna work on that sweet and sour sauce. So that sweet and sour sauce was actually really good. I'm not too sure how they made it, so I'm just gonna do a really quick kind of different variation of it. So I got my pan on here. It's gonna make a little noise. And we're gonna to add to that some peaches. Just some peach syrup. Second flavor I had that was really intense was a little bit of pineapple. So what we're gonna do is kind of just cook that down into like a really thick syrupy consistency. A little bit of soy sauce. And then for the tanginess, for the sour part of it, a little bit of mustard goes in there as well. We can always adjust later. That is the beauty of it. I'm gonna whisk all that in. I know people think it's gross when I do this, but I'm the only one eating the food, so it doesn't really matter. So that's not bad, but I feel like we need more sugar. So I'm gonna put in a little bit of sugar. This will help with that consistency of making it really kind of syrupy, like caramel almost. Whisk that in. I'm gonna cover that up, let that bubble away, and let that get thick. Next, let's work on our chicken. 
So as we saw from the little documentary, there's a couple of things that go in there. Um, the first one being a little bit of water, so we're gonna add some water to that. Then we're gonna do, they had some natural flavors, so I'm gonna go for white pepper, some garlic powder, some salt, and finally, this is probably totally off. Totally off game. I'm gonna add just a little bit of some black beans. Mix everything together. So the idea here is, just like in the video, to get that super mushy. Like you're really trying to break down that chicken. And I think that's where they get that springiness. And you see like here, when we first were working with it, we had kind of like a, a grind to it. You could actually see pieces, but this is kind of like more of a, really just like a nice thick mush. Next step, we are gonna work on our different uh, batters. So they, they said they had two batters. There was a light one and there was a thick one. So we're gonna start off by doing our light one. So for both, I think we're gonna need eggs. Mix and crack both eggs. Guys, I, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, so <laughs> we will see if this is actually good or better or tastier, or even if it comes close to an actual chicken nugget. But I always say with food, man, at the end of the day, you're the one eating it, so just make what you love. Now we're gonna put in some milk on the lighter one, a little bit of flour, just a tad bit. So let's mix that first and kind of see where we go. I think that seems okay. Like that consistency is nice and kind of very thin, yet I think it'll kind of just coat the chicken nugget very slightly, which is what we want. Finally, here on the second one, some cornstarch. A couple tablespoons of that and a little bit of flour. So this is our second outer coating, the thicker one, obviously. Theirs had a like really weird yellowish color. So I'm gonna do light batter and then I'm gonna do Thick batter, put it on a plate, and then that's where we're gonna just flatten it a little bit so that it has that chicken nugget kind of shape. And then repeat. And you know what's gonna happen now? We're actually gonna test it. Because this is, after all, just a test kitchen. I'm not here to pretend to know how to cook everything in the world. I'm here to learn just with you guys because by making videos, I'm learning too, and I'm trying to become a better cook. I think that's a good kind of like initial test batch and put it in the fryer, see what happens. All right, I think something went wrong. I knew this was gonna happen. So basically, I think the best way to do this is to actually put the chicken nuggets straight in, make them a little bit thinner, and then put them in the oil straight without bringing the grill up or else they're gonna stick like that to the pan, which is never a good thing. So, attempt number two, let's try it. So our sauce is pretty much good to go. Look at that, nice and syrupy, which is exactly what we wanted. Our chicken nugget, not so much where we wanted things to be, but what the hell, it's still good ingredients, it's still good food. So I'm gonna put some sweet and sour sauce on top of that. Not bad. Flavor's there. I'm still getting that ground chicken vibe. I feel like you really need that machine to kind of just break down the chicken fibers and really make it again feel stringy. But flavor-wise, I totally double dipped in my own sauce, by the way. Flavor-wise, it's not bad. Like, okay. It does taste healthier. Um, I'm not too pissed off about this. Oh my God, guys, you're gonna watch this video and all of you are gonna be super mean in the comments telling me I don't know how to cook and everything, but I told you, we're experimenting. Be nice, please be nice, be kind. I love you all. Wunderbar. Let's open this up. Put this down. All right. What did we learn today? A couple things. First, McDonald's is very good at what they do because <laughs> their chicken nuggets look much better than I than mine. Um, but these are not bad. Like I feel like texture-wise, um, these ridges are weird, um, but that 
can kind of be taken care of in terms of the thickness of your batter and how you make it. Um, the springiness is pretty decent. Massive differences, I think you would need a food processor to really just blend that ground chicken over and over again with all the spices and the water and everything to keep it nice and moist. Moisture is pretty good. So the thing I would definitely change is figure out the batter a little bit more to clean it up so you don't get these ridges. Um, but all in all, let's try it. It's a super flavorful bite. I know exactly what goes in here, which is for me one of the best things. So what I'll do is kind of work on that recipe a little bit, change it up for you, put it in the description box so that you can follow it at home. All right guys, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching, comment below, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Oh, I'm my tongue. Do all that stuff, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, bye.